I uh, saw a lot of negativity and a lot of bad things. Any bad thing that could possibly be on earth, I think, was there. My name is Bruce Smith. I was an employee at United States Penitentiary Leavenworth in the years uh, 1982 to 2003. I knew Leonard Peltier for about 20 of those years. American Indian activist Leonard Peltier has served 36 years in federal prison for the killing of two FBI agents during a shootout on the Pine Ridge Reservation in the 1970s. The evidence presented by the prosecution has since been debunked and proven fabricated. The prosecuting attorneys now admit that they could not prove that Peltier actually committed the crime. Over the years, Amnesty International has deemed him a political prisoner, and his release has been demanded by millions across the globe, including Nelson Mandela, Mother Teresa, the Archbishop Desmond Tutu, and the Dalai Lama. Despite proof that he was convicted on a basis of suppressed evidence, judiciary misconduct, and coarse testimonies, Leonard Peltier continues to be warehoused. The FBI is the hierarchy in the prison system. They have one or two agents assigned, and they do call the shots. Since his arrest, he has been harassed and abused by the FBI. The same agenda set to eliminate Peltier through the Bureau of Prisons continues vigorously still today amplifying the clear abuse of correctional power and misconduct by the FBI and the Bureau of Prisons. He's not a threat to anyone in there. He never has been a threat to anyone in there. And to keep messing with a man that is in such bad health, uh, it's as if somebody gets a, a special act money award if he dies on his shift. Leonard is so high pro profile all the shots were called through the Department of Justice, FBI. Uh, it was so high profile that consequently, anytime there was an investigation into a murder, uh, an escape attempt, assault, usually Leonard was locked up under investigation almost every time. Because he's so high profile, that's the first person they want to lock up. They can get pretty petty with Leonard because they are looking to lock him up, constantly. Peltier, now age 66, is inflicted with extreme medical conditions, a majority of which have not been properly treated through the prison system. He is now housed at the oldest working federal penitentiary in the United States, Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. On June 27th, the day after the 36th anniversary of the deaths of the two FBI agents on Pine Ridge, Peltier was placed into solitary confinement. For over a week, his attorneys and support base were not informed about the entire reasoning for this punishment. During a major heat wave with temperatures inside solitary rising over 120 degrees, how can this not be considered torture? Uh, it's really hot in those lockdown units. Uh, the one at Leavenworth was miserable in the summertime. So if he has any health problems at all, which Leonard does, he has many, you're, you're trying to push him over the edge into a uh, diabetes problem, uh, a heart problem. Uh, it's just, it's hard on an older person. And the fact that the shots are bogus that he's locked up under right now, the two incident reports, uh, it makes you question the whole purpose. Are they wanting him to die? It's a good question. They're, they're giving him the death penalty by leaving him in that type of an environment. The man needs medical treatment. He needs to have access to medical treatment. If they're not going to give medical treatment to him, they need to release him as soon as possible to the public. At approximately 8 a.m. on June the 27th, Leonard Peltier was accused of having the possession of money. This is prohibited within the federal prison system. This money was sent to Peltier by a supporter in Scotland. Officer Wagner of the Bureau of Prisons at Lewisburg writes the report incriminating Peltier of this infraction, but he fails to report why the money was allowed to get to Peltier in the first place. 
the shot is bogus about the money being sent into him. The reason it's bogus, there would be an SIS hold on Leonard Peltier automatically. So the mailroom, as soon as they get the mail, it is told to be sent to SIS, which is the intelligence investigative department of the Bureau of Prison at that particular penitentiary. The SIS is the one that has a hold on the mail. So they cannot, the mailroom cannot give the mail directly to Leonard Peltier. It first has to go to SIS so that they can look at it, they can copy it, see if there's anything in there they can do something on the street with. Is there going to be a walk for Leonard Peltier? So we'll assign this many agents to this walk. He's too high profile. So the shot is bogus in that sense right there. There was an SIS hold on him. The mail can't go straight to him without going to SIS. Later on that same day, an officer Hamilton searched Peltier's cell. During this search, he found two wires protruding from the wall and leading to the light fixture. He then chose to touch the wires, which resulted in a sudden electrical shock. Hamilton writes that Peltier is the only inmate assigned to that particular cell. He fails to report that in the previous weeks, another inmate who was Peltier's cellmate was removed from that cell. This inmate had occupied the top bunk where these wires were located and was responsible for their reconstruction. This incident, even though Peltier was not in his cell when the officer was shocked, is classified by the Bureau of Prisons as an assault. As far as bare wires on a light fixture in a cell, Leonard wasn't even in the cell and the officer touched it evidently because he didn't realize two wires might give you a shock that are bare and you lock Leonard up for that? Come on. Come on. If the officer was not smart enough to realize a bare wire will shock you, he should get the shot. Not an inmate that that was his house. That was his cell. It's ridiculous. Both shots are ridiculous. At this moment, Leonard Peltier is housed in a solitary confinement unit in Pennsylvania. This is a grave threat to his life, and immediate action must be taken before it is too late. Right now, Leonard's dead. Can we give him this little bit of hope by actually doing something for a change instead of saying, oh, we'll do it next year? Oh, yeah, we'll get to it. It's not a priority, but we'll get to it. It's close. It's second. No, it better be first right now or he's dead. Everybody, if you're not going to stand up and help this man before he's dead, uh, the blood is on your hands. I'm doing all I can do right now. My neck is stuck out and I don't care. Life has been good for me, but there's a lot of injustice that takes place in our government today and in the public and the private sector. But if we don't stand up, it'll never change. And by golly, my granddad, he's in his grave, but he, he and my dad are gonna be proud of me for standing up and being accountable. Leonard needs to be out. As soon as we can get him out, we gotta get him out of prison so he can do good things. There's so many good things he can accomplish. If we don't do something right now, he will die. And then the blood is on our hands as a people.